I'm Salim Varani. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Baylor College of Medicine and a staff cardiologist at Michael E. DeBakey VA Medical Center, Houston, Texas. Why are cardiovascular risk factors important to the HIV patient? Cardiovascular diseases and stroke are two of our nation's top killers. That goes for men, women, African Americans, Caucasian, Latinos, HIV positive, and HIV negative. So essentially, everyone is at risk for cardiovascular disease, especially as we age. And the good news is that the HIV population now is having the opportunity to age just like everyone else, thanks to better therapies, better adherence to treatments, and early diagnoses we have a significant portion of the HIV population who are living longer. Also, just like the HIV negative person, you may have heart disease in your family or an increased risk of high cholesterol, high blood pressure, or coronary heart disease, for example. And like any HIV negative person, you may have additional risks, such as excess weight, smoking, poor nutrition, or physical inactivity that adds to your overall risk. So what makes the HIV person different? Nothing. HIV does not change cardiovascular risk factors. It just adds to them. For example, let's say Joe's here who's HIV positive and Mike is HIV negative. They both try to eat right. They both stay physically active. They both maintain a healthy weight. And just for the equation, Let's say they both also smoke. Are they both at equal risk for heart disease? Probably no. Joe has a higher risk simply because he is HIV positive. Why is that? It could be due to, due to the chronic inflammation of the blood vessels that often accompanies HIV. It could be due to the long-term exposure to antiretrovirals, or it could be a combination of both. So what does that mean for Joe? It means that it is even more important for Joe, our HIV positive person, to do everything he can to reduce his risks. For example, if Joe stops smoking, he is reducing his risk for heart disease. Work with your healthcare provider to assess your risks. Let's take a look at our checklist. We'll say Joe's HIV is well controlled, his CD4 count 600, viral load is undetectable. Now he can concentrate on improving his overall health. That includes stopping smoking, managing blood pressure, controlling cholesterol levels, reducing blood sugars, getting active, maintaining a healthy weight, and eating better. When you first hear that, it may seem overwhelming, but work with your provider you can reduce it to some everyday manageable steps that you might even find enjoyable. It feels really good to get your weight under control, to start living actively, and to eat healthier foods. By working with your provider and sticking to your goals, you can detect any important changes early and keep your risks low. It's a great way to live for everybody, with or without HIV.